Hey guys, and welcome back to Chatting Breeze. Okay, this week is probably going to be one of the toughest weeks of my life. I'm not addicted to most things I like to think anyway in life. You know, I'm not someone who gets addicted to, to I don't know, to shopping as much as I do love a good shop, but I'm not addicted to it. Um, addicted to going out, not addicted to, I don't know. Anyway, you get the drift. Um, However, there is one addiction in my life which I realise I need to start calming and cutting out. And I usually can also count myself as a fairly strong person. But with this addiction, oh, it always beats me. It always, always gets me. And that drives me nuts because I don't like thinking or feeling weak to something or reliant on something. And that is sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Yeah, I, for some reason, have a massive addiction to sweet things. I crave it every single day. I usually crave it after a lunch and after a dinner. That's twice a day, guys. That is twice a day I need something sweet after I've eaten my main meal. And I don't normally have bad meals, I would say, on average. Um, they, you know, I try to make sure I get my fruit and veg and stuff in, but, um, but yeah, those, those, those pesky blimmin' sweets always seem to wangle their way into my diet. This being said, this week, I'm going to try and do a no sugar diet and I need help. I need serious help on this one because I feel like I could potentially break and it's only day one. As I said, this is day one, um, and I have been to work, I've done a day's work, and I have not had any sugar. Well, okay, when I say no sugar, I'm hoping people aren't including fruit in this because I have had fruit, but I'm talking about refined sugars, like chocolate, etc., etc. So I'm now going to try and just have sugar in fruit and not refined sugars for a week, which for me is going to be difficult. It is gonna be difficult. I think the longest I've ever lasted, well, the only time I've ever lasted a week is if I've been ill with like a flu or something like that. Otherwise, it's always managed to creep in after day two. I've never lasted longer, I don't think. And that is a massive, massive, massive reason as to why I need to cut back. Um, and anyone, sorry guys, my eyes, arms are aching. I have tried the whole eat one square, I'm an all or nothing kind of gal. I've realized about this about myself and my personality type. I'm either all in or I'm out. A square is not going to cut it for me. I then want the whole bar rather than just the square. And yes, this comes to dark dairy-free chocolate as well. This is how bad the addiction is. So as I said, day one, um, I struggled a little lunchtime. I shan't lie, lunchtime, I'd had a salad, uh, everything was going well, and then after the salad, I really did fancy something sweet. I was starting to crave it a little bit, so I had an apple instead, um, and then I followed that with some popcorn. I was thinking maybe the salt. I know it's not sweet, but I thought something anyway. And I need to have dinner. Don't know what I'm gonna have yet, but I'm thinking hopefully I am going to have to figure out what I potentially have can have to kick it it's been difficult and i just need to carry on because i cannot fall on day one and this vlog is also probably going to help me keep on target because my ego won't let me fail in front of people even if it's just one viewer <laughs> the ego won't allow it I'm hoping that this is gonna drive me through and um, yeah, and make it a good one. So anyway, as I said, I'm gonna have dinner. I'm not sure what I'm gonna have yet. And then I need to figure something out for after dinner uh, to make sure that that sweet craving doesn't get too bad. So let's see, I need to now get ready. Well, I say get ready, I mean undo what's been done um, after a long day in the office. And, oh guys, you need a bit more light on this, on this bad boy. Um, and get 
into my chill gear as we all know and love because chilling and no makeup is always the best way in my opinion after a long day anyway of being at work guys i'm going to stop bubbling i'm going to inform you as to whether or not i fell at this next hurdle and did have anything uh for sweet after dinner but i don't i won't i shall not i can tell you this already um except from fruit if needs must day two of no sugar and i think i did well yesterday well i don't think i'm just taking it by day by day and taking it for the fact that i didn't have any so that's good right and for lunch today so breakfast i have my porridge and stuff that's absolutely fine i never crave um sugar in the in the morning and then today for lunch i had like a rice and aubergine and what else was in there uh some vegetables anyway dish um i have had a few bananas bananas and stuff like that and then for dinner um i am looking a little empty on the on the dinner side of things so i think i'm going to two this is what's going to be for dinner i'm going to have the rest over of the lentils with some broccoli i'm going to finish off the salad uh, the baby leaf salad i'm going to just put some tuna with it because this is all i have i haven't really been around oh that was my camera thingy my mic uh yeah i haven't really been around in my flat recently or that recent so um and then i think i've got to have some strawberries strawberries which are some of them are starting to turn so i need to eat those up as well and then yeah that's kind of what i'll be having for today and hopefully the strawberries will take that hit of the sugar that i need because it is sugar so in the strawberries so fingers crossed that will that will be what i need it to be um but yeah day two it hasn't been too bad i thought i would really be going crazy but it's been manageable it's been, maybe it's because i'm still having quite a bit of fruit so i'm getting the sugar sugar kick from there potentially um but it has been, as I said, it has been manageable. We're gonna see, we're gonna see. Actually, what I should do at the beginning of this, just to see, I don't think a week would make a difference in regards to my body, and that's not what I'm doing this for whatsoever. Um, if I was then, I would have been doing proper workouts and stuff, and I haven't even had time. I know it's only Tuesday, but I've had no time to work out already. Um, and I don't think, I mean, it's already 8 p.m. Oh, no. No, I lied. It's about 7.30 um, on the Tuesday. And I'm not going to do a workout because I've still got to make dinner and stuff like that. So then maybe tomorrow I'll do a workout. But yeah, I would rather, had I have done this for like a body aesthetic thing, then I probably would have done, put in some workouts with this. But anyway, that's not the point. The point is, I'm just going to see what it's like and if I crave my my sugar as much as i feel i am addicted to it guys anyway um i'm just thinking if there's anything to, else to catch you up on oh does this even work no no i was hoping i wouldn't have to hold this camera so much but everything is a state um, this week I do want to get rid of my wardrobe. This needs to go because I need to make room for all the boxes that I have with my t-shirts in and yeah I'm gonna have to stack them there so I need to dismantle that wardrobe and take it to the skip which is gonna be long. Um, but that's about it really and just working on some t-shirt stuff this week as well so it's going to be a busy week but nothing nothing busy is in having to fly around well actually that's a lie friday i have this crazy thing that i'm going to be going to which i'm going to do a vlog on i might as well just actually make you a bit privy to it so there is a thing called goat yoga 
I think it's Goga, Go, Goya, Go, Goga, Goya, something like that. Anyway, um, not my idea, was one of my crazy ass friends' idea, and she's very, very excited to go. Um, so we are going to go to Goat Goga, we, me, her, and her mum, as far as I'm aware. You know when sometimes you have those friends who you'll go somewhere and you think it's just gonna be you two and then all of a sudden there's like two other people sitting at the restaurant or something and you're like, oh, I didn't realize, it's not a problem. I just didn't realize that we were gonna be joined by other people. She's that kind of friend. So at the moment, that's what, that's the, the plan of the amount of people, but this could change and all of a sudden there could be more people joining us. We will see. Um, but yeah, I am waiting to, also for that, I really wanted to get some cute new gym um, leggings and stuff. I'm hoping they're gonna come in time. Real fingers crossed, like really, really, really fingers crossed. <laughs> I don't know if I ordered them a bit too late, but um, yeah, I want to, to grab some new leggings for those, make myself feel a bit spunkier and then yeah friday um i'm gonna go and hang with my partner's parents and family for the day so that'll be nice so yeah it's actually quite a busy week and then sunday's uh easter sunday um so i'm recording this obviously a little bit out of sync i think i don't know when i'm gonna upload this so i don't know whether you'll be watching this before or after easter sunday actually it'll be after obviously i just thought about that Ignore me, it's been a long day guys, okay? So you'll be seeing this after Easter Sunday. Um, but yeah, I'll post this and then I'm gonna post another one with the, uh, with the Goya, Goya, whatever it's called. Um, it's such an LA thing, I swear. Uh, but we're gonna see, we're gonna see, as long as they don't poop on me, I think we'll be all good. Anyway, this is day two, and I'm gonna check you tomorrow to, Follow on to see how I'm doing with my no sugar. So this is day three of no sugar. And um, I'm sorry, I've got something playing in the background. Uh, um, yeah, no sugar, day three. It's been okay, it's been okay. So I, it is, what time is it? Uh, quarter past three, I've just been, crashing like having to do get so much work done and guys I literally slept till tw about 20 past um 11. Day is already done by 20 past 11 but I was just so tired I was just like do you know what I've just got to let my body rest so I haven't had anything to eat because I've just been working the whole way through barely had anything to drink normally love a good you know, a good few bottles of water by now, my goodness, definitely. But anyway, um, so I've just made my first meal of the day, which is just eggs, tomatoes, um, some gluten-free bread and some avocado. I'm gonna chow down on this. It's probably actually quite good maybe that I've been busy because just means that then um, I don't have time to think about sugar. <laughs> Um, so that's probably a good thing. I'm gonna see if I can balance you on my drink, which is probably not a good idea. Um, is this gonna work, guys? That is the question. I highly doubt it. Oh, oh, hello. Well, that worked until it falls in my drink. I'll be like, guys. Um, today I have been shooting some videos for TikTok, trying to get ahead in that because I don't have any content left. I just don't have any content anywhere left, so I need to keep plowing on um, and get stuff done. It's the week of Easter, yeah, Easter week. So Friday will be Good Friday. We're on Wednesday now. So I've got to also go get some Easter eggs and stuff. I think I said this yesterday. I need to go get eggs and things like that. There's just so much to do so much to do uh, and so little time as per usual and especially when you sleep in until 20 past 11. Um, but, oh, put that on silent and bring that friend back. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna see if I can quickly pop to the shops later this evening. This is gonna be a hard one as well, seeing all that chocolate and not being able to eat any. <laughs> but we're gonna see how we go with this one. Um, 
and I'm going to crack on with uh, some videos and stuff that I need to shoot and get sorted. That is the plan. It's now, as I said, half, th no, 20 past three. And yeah, there is still a lot to do that I need to accomplish in today, but we're going to do it. We're just going to crack on and roll through. <laughs> collected all the eggs I collected them I purchased them <laughs> for the whole family I'm sanitizing afterwards before I go home and then I'll wash my hands afterwards anyway um yeah so it was all good managed to get some some good eggs actually just went to Audi um, need to pop to Morrison's and I managed to get my chain done well it's gonna take a few weeks um, but yeah, managed to at least put it in the jewelers. Sorry guys, couldn't film. It was just a little bit intense. Um, so yeah, anyway, but driving, going to drive home now and then crack on with the rest of the day and get some breakfast in. Actually choosing the chocolate wasn't as hard as I thought. I thought I'd be really starting to salivate seeing all the chocolate, but probably because I couldn't eat any of that chocolate anyway as I'm dairy free it's not as tempting there's only one aisle that I get really tempted in in Aldi and where they have the dairy free chocolate bars <sighs> I won't even start one of those chocolate bars is just amazing anyway um so yeah wasn't actually too bad I didn't feel too much temptation which was good but I definitely need breakfast because it is let's see what time it is it is it must be 11 like it has to be around 11 I don't know I didn't put a watch on and now I'm using my phone so I can't even 11.02 11.02 sounds right so breakfast time so it is around quarter past eight I'm still working so this is a super quick meal I'm just going to have some pasta and I'm just going to put some veg into the mix as well. Um, woo, steamer. Oh my gosh, that is really hot. Hi. Um, yeah, just need something quick and easy for the time being. And I know this is a lot of pasta. I'm obviously not going to have this all in one night. But I usually, if I'm going to cook something up, I cook it up quickly. So then I can then, oh, a lot of it. So then I can have the rest another day. I'm gonna put some of the pasta in. Add some tomatoes into the mix. I'm just gonna wash these up. I love a good old tomato. I mean, you can't go wrong. Sure. Put on some good old spinach with this. Not the healthiest dinner, but not the worst either. And dinner is served. This is what I'm having for this evening now. And for dessert day, I have some pineapple to kick the sweetness that I need. So, uh, um, maybe that was a little too much, but okay, we'll see how we go. I'm going to put the rest of the pot in there. I'm going to have some good old... Uh, pineapple now and you can see um how much of a rush or rushing around i was doing earlier because i put my t-shirt on inside out 
haven't even had time to rechange it, believe it or not. So anyway, this is going to be my sweet treat for today. And, and then we're going to check in tomorrow and see how day four of no re-refined sugar is going. Right, this is day eight of no sugar. And I know I've kind of skipped from day four to day eight. I'll explain why. Now, the reason is, I'm gonna go on the move, guys, because I'm gonna just put the camera down um, whilst I explain myself. The reason is, oh, this wasn't as easy as I thought. Okay, well, this looks a little dangerous for the camera, but we're gonna see. Um, the reason is, if I haven't said that already, is because Friday, Saturday was just m mental. I had no time to record, update, even get the camera out. It was just so, so busy. I had so much to do and so much to cram in. Um, so that was Friday, Saturday, but no sugar. I was still a very, very good girl and I didn't have any refined sugars on those days and I was feeling, feeling and, you know, absolutely fine. Still haven't really seen a difference in regards to, I don't know, like sleep or um, it's not like it's improved my sleep. Um, I haven't felt like I've got more energy or I'm not so spiking. I don't know, maybe it's again not long enough to kind of feel that. Um, and um, yeah, so I don't know, like I feel better maybe. And I think again, I need to try this out longer. I don't know if it has had maybe a bit of an effect on my skin, as in I haven't been having as many like tiny spots under my skin. Potentially, I don't feel like it's been long enough because sometimes I might just have like a good few days and you know my skin just looks a little bit better than normal. So I feel like I would need to do it for longer to kind of see if that would carry on or not. And then Sunday, yesterday was obviously Easter Sunday and um, it was just busy. Um, I was kind of traveling and then everything else. Now, I don't know if this is against the rules or not i say rules i kind of set them myself but on day seven i did break the sugar and i did have some of my chocolate egg yeah so i mean it was on the last day and i was kind of weighing up um but the good thing was that i wasn't craving it which is crazy i really 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 thought i would crave the 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 chocolate the sugar so much more than i actually did um don't get me wrong, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> I munched away on that egg, but I wasn't, yeah, it wasn't like when I was went to open it, I was like, oh my gosh, like I need this so badly now the time has come. I was actually pretty, pretty okay with it. So it's what, Monday now, um, and I think I'm gonna carry on. I mean, I'm not gonna be as kind of stringent to say no sugar for a week, but I think I am going to really try and reduce my sugar intake because I always thought it was just going to be so difficult. I thought that I was really going to have issues with it and that I wouldn't be able to, yeah, to get by without it. But that's not been the case. Like I really have kind of, yeah, been okay. And I haven't had it, as I said, there's no kind of, I haven't had headaches, I haven't, like, nothing. So it's probably good for the body anyway, not having as much sugar. So I'm going to carry it on and see if maybe if I can reduce my sugar intake and not have as much um, every day or throughout the week. Maybe I can leave it, you know, three, four days and then have some and then leave it again for maybe a few days and just see how that goes and see whether or not that kind of, I'm able to, yeah, keep up with it. And... For me on the other side is that if it is helping my skin, hurrah, then I am not complaining um, if my skin does improve as a byproduct. I mean, I wasn't sure what would be a byproduct or not or how I would feel reducing it or taking it out of my diet. But yeah, if it does help improve just like any texture on the skin um, and helping reduce those little spots, then I'm all for it because I battle with that daily so I yeah it would definitely be a good thing so 
Anyway guys, if you are someone who is wondering whether or not you can or should give up sugar like for a little while to see if you could do it, I would say give it a damn good try because it really wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. For someone who, and when I say I needed chocolate every single day, I was having, you know, after lunch I would have something and after dinner I would have something and that's quite a lot when you start racking it off in a in a week and months etc but it was absolutely fine um and maybe maybe it would be for you too and if that is the case then it's pretty good for the body so refined sugars not needed so much as I said I didn't cut out all sugars I still had fruit I was still having stuff like that so um and I still had the dairy-free yogurts and stuff with my fruit so it wasn't like I was cutting out all sugars completely maybe that helped as well because I wasn't craving it because it wasn't like I was cutting out all sugar potentially that also would be would be a thing um but but the essence of kind of those fast sugars in regards to chocolate bars or um, you know any other like nut bars or anything like that uh, which have sugar in them then I had completely cut those out anyway guys uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will check you guys later peace out <laughs>